Charles, let's talk about the secondary. Missing maybe a, a, an element that you guys have had in the past, a guy like Chris Harris, and that, that kind of leadership and maybe that kind of physicality. I mean, how do you replace that? Well, you know, Chris is a great player. You know, he's real smart. He's a leader back there. Uh, one thing I, I, I've seen about, um, you know, Chris not being here is that, you know, everybody has to be accountable for what they, you know, have to know and have to do. So uh, it forces us to study more and know more, you know, and not depend on Chris to put us where we need to be. So um, we're doing great with You know, everybody's um, got their assignment and we're doing well. When you compare the, the three sides of the defense with the secondary and the line and the linebackers, you guys are probably – right there with the linebackers in terms of experience, and the D-line is very, very green. Um, we're getting there. We're not there yet. You know, we're, we're, we're not there yet. we got a lot. we got a long ways to go. You know, I think that as a defense, uh, that's one of my things. I mean, we're never there. We're never there. We're always trying to improve and trying to get better. So I think that's what's going to take us over the top, you know, having those guys that's hungry and never satisfied. With the guys on the D-line, though, is this put, with them being as green as they are, does that put me a little more onus on you guys to – Stay with receivers and, and and give them more time to get to the quarterback. Well, yeah, we're, we're, we're family, so I mean, you know, when, when one side's down, you know, we have to pick it up. So you know, we'll have to pick it up a little bit, and uh, you know, they'll get it together. They'll get it together. And, uh, we'll just you know stick together and do what we have to do. Have you seen Chris step up as a leadership role this year, like last year? Oh, Chris, yeah, Chris is, Chris is doing good, man. You know, he's talking a little bit more. Uh, you know, he's always been a great player, but um, like I said, you know, uh, there's a lot of guys now that have to step up and be leaders. You know, you have to have those leaders on defense so that those young guys can follow. And Chris is doing a great job. Chris was talking about you guys getting a slow start last year. What do you remember about that? How do you remember um, I, I remember that uh, real, real well. Um, that's one of our, our key points now. Um, you know, starting in practice, you know, everything starts in practice. It's hanging off, you know, you have to have that base, you know, as far as tackling and wrap up. Um, last year, we started off the season real slow, you know, missing tackles. And, you know, when it kind of carried on, we kind of picked it up at the end of the year. It kind of ended up in a good spot. But if we could start it up right, you know, we would have been at the top of the list. And the defense, so um, we're not going to make that mistake this year. Does it help that you have know, so many guys back and they just kind of Pick up where you left off. You know, it does help, you know, because we're reaching that. And also to the young guys, but we're uh, expecting some of those guys to step up. So, um, you know, that's, that's our thing. You know, starting the guys, no matter, if no matter if we end up with one series or, you know, um, the whole game, we're going full speed and we're going to make plays.